The more I talked about the fact that he said that the United States would put a man on the moon and it happened in eight years, the more I got a kind of pushback that this was actually quite male and technical and competitive against Russia and, uh, you know, uh, not exactly. So they said to me, um, you know, come back to us with a feminist earth shot and then we'll listen to you. Um, and gradually uh, we evolved what we now call Project Dandelion. Project Dandelion had its soft launch in London two days ago. And I'm happy to say that at the end of our discussion of it with a number of our women leaders, um, uh, Pat Mitchell, myself, um, Hindu Omara Ibrahim, who's um, indigenous from Chad in Africa, and um, Hafsat Abiola from Nigeria. We four were the key women, but we also had three other indigenous um, panelists um, who joined us. So we were a kind of good range of inclusive women um, speaking about Project uh, Dandelion. Um, the dandelion, I have learned, is a flower weed that grows on all seven continents. It's very resilient. Um, if you ever try to get rid of it from your lawn or your front, um, it's, 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 it's very hard. Um, it's also used by some farmers to re... Um, uh, um, sort of um, uh, re readdress the soil, re rejuvenate the soil, if you like. Um, it's, 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 it's good from that point of view. Poets write about it, and um, it uh, uh, is used in soups and in teas in some cultures. So it had that very um, good nature-based uh, feel about it as a symbol. And how do you spread it? You just blow. Children blow the dandelion seeds. So <clears throat> this appealed to us um, as women leaders that we would have a women-led, but not women-only, um, approach that would be um, a movement to address the crisis that we're in, the climate and biodiversity crisis. And how would we address that crisis? In two ways. We would make very visible the work that was going on at all levels, um, by a lot of women, but also by men, um, uh, and, and by young people. Um, women um, in, in um, making communities more resilient, in being innovative, um, in uh, the work of um, uh, progressive business, the work of philanthropy, um, uh, the work of indigenous communities, uh, and then by making it more visible, we would have a systems change approach um, to ensure that we made connections that grew the way of doing, that connected and learned across, that spread examples, spread the dandelion seed examples through that visibility. And because we were a climate justice movement that we want to build, we would also uh, insist on what I would, I would say is the hard side, um, which not all women leaders will do, but um, there are many of us who are prepared to do it. And that is to say that governments must stop subsidizing fossil fuel and must... And, and that we are in favor of windfall taxes for excessive um, profits from fossil fuel at the moment. That, that we want to make real the loss and damage fund, which was agreed at COP27 um, in Egypt, and do it linked with monetary reform, the uh, initiatives like the Bridgetown Initiative of Prime Minister Mia Motley um, uh, of Barbados, um, to enlarge greatly the uh, resources which would be available, that we must learn from indigenous communities and uh, make sure that clean energy projects respect human rights. Um, I've learned that that's also a problem, that some clean energy projects are mega projects that come in from the outside, ignore local communities and their rights, their land rights or their water rights, and 
um, often uh, have a major either dam or um, a major uh, solar energy project, which um, uh, are, or in the case of Kenya, a big wind farm project, which initially ignored the Maasai people um, in Kenya, um, who actually were the pastoralists that used that land, but they weren't regarded as having land rights of any kind. And all of these issues are very real. <clears throat> we have to ensure that uh, the way of doing um, is one that uh, respects, uh, respects human rights. And what we want to do is to build an unstoppable, women-led, but as I say, not women only, uh, movement um, that is very optimistic. It's the movement that recognizes that paradox that I spoke about at the beginning, that we're on the cusp of a clean energy world and demands that we get that world. 